Even after centuries of consistent research, most of Earth's history remains a mystery. Archaeologists, historians, scientists and others all try to give us answers to the questions of the universe, but still ones that no one can answer. Of course, despite the mysteries, discoveries have been made. These discoveries tell us more about our history, our past and even our own lives, but sometimes they leave us even more clueless than before. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll dig into three noteworthy discoveries that will hopefully tell us more about our past. Mayan Kingdom Unearthed on Cattle Ranch La Canja Zeltol, a site in the Chiapas in Mexico, has been excavated by professionals from Brown and Brandeis universities. La Canja Zeltol was settled in 750 BCE and was the capital of the long-lost kingdom of Saxe, with settlers residing there for roughly a thousand years. In 2014, archaeology graduate Whitaker Schroeder was in Chiapas searching for sites to uncover for his dissertation when a local told him about an ancient tablet his friend found and took Schroeder and his friend, Dobrainer, to a cattle ranch. Schroeder informed an associate professor at Brandeis University of the discovery, which led to a wide excavation after permission was obtained to search the site, the cattle ranch's very backyard. Saxe's capital has the remnants of a 45-foot-tall pyramid and ruins of religious structures, including a ceremonial centre. Even an ancient ball court was found. It took several years for the Mexican government to give permission to the universities to excavate, but it was certainly worth the wait and excavations began in June 2018. The team used available technology to their advantage, using LiDAR, light detection and ranging surveys of the whole area, which utilizes a laser that reveals whether something is hidden beneath the earth. Ever since June 2018, the team has managed to find diverse, astounding artefacts and antiques, including a tool used by Mayan salt miners over 1,000 years ago, an ancient mask that portrayed one of the Maya kings of Mexico that dated back to the 7th century, and grand Maya structures left over from the fallen civilization, revealing their civilization to be larger than initially believed. From what is known, the Maya civilization peaked during the 6th century AD. And yet, for an unknown reason, many Maya cities were entirely abandoned sometime during the 900s AD. History is a captivating subject that reveals never-ending truths about the lives led by our ancestors. Every year we uncover more and more breathtaking secrets that make us rethink our views and beliefs of their daily lives. British company finds Atlantis in Spain. The most damning evidence against the existence of Atlantis is the clear lack of physical remnants of the so-called city. Surely, if such a powerful island nation were to exist, then records, pieces or artefacts from such a place would still be around somewhere, just waiting to be found. In November 2018, a British company claimed to have done just that. A British satellite firm named Merlin Burroughs stated in 2018 that they had discovered images that could show remnants of the long-lost city written by Plato around 2,400 years ago. Merlin Burroughs points towards supposed ruins that lie in Doñana National Park in Spain. According to their claims, there is evidence of concrete which could be between 10,000 and 12,000 years old. After first being written about by the philosopher Plato, the city of Atlantis has garnered a reputation of being in control of advanced alien technology, which was supposedly lost to time and to the ocean. Because of this, efforts to find the supposedly lost city have grown in frequency, with many people across the globe trying to find its location. Bruce Blackburn, a representative from Merlin Burroughs, stated, We've got a body of evidence that we've presented, and we have a whole host of proof points and we are quite happy for people to take a viewpoint. Continuing on, Blackburn said, We've released this information, we've got some films, and we accept that there will be people who think it isn't true. Merlin Burroughs decided on their spot by using satellite data alongside descriptions of Atlantis given to us by Plato. 
The location pinpointed by the firm is claimed to match those descriptions laid out by Plato and is reinforced by the presence of what they describe as concrete. Being 10,000 years old, the site does match the time frame of Atlantis's supposed existence given by Plato. Furthermore, Merlin Burroughs asserts that they discovered what appears to be ruins of ancient towers and a temple, again supposedly matching descriptions penned by Plato and other ancient texts. While the discovery sounds exciting, some scientists don't believe it. Of course, the finding is still exciting to some. Perhaps the discovery is man-made after all, and points to an archaeological discovery that has gone unnoticed. Or perhaps we're looking for something that just isn't there. Scientists find bizarre creature under Antarctic ice The news of an unknown creature hidden in the Antarctic ice would be bad news. However, this discovery is much less frightening. It is actually a fascinating insight to what forms of life share our planet with us. In September 2020, scientists on a research voyage in the Southern Ocean made a stunning discovery in the waters of the icy continent. During their 50-day trip, scientists from multiple countries created scans of the seabed from the decks of RV Tangaroa, a New Zealand research vessel. Their target is known as the Antarctic Abyssal Plain, and their efforts were made in the hope to find life in the harsh environments more than 3,500 metres underwater. During the expedition, the team collected 4,700 samples, as well as 33 hours of video and 8,000 photographs. While the deep abyss of the Antarctic waters at first seemed to have more in common with the barren wastelands of Mars, the team were lucky enough to spot a form of life never before seen by human eyes. The scientists described it as having features like a hippo. Dr. Schnabel, a marine biologist at the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research in New Zealand, stated, it has something quite interesting at the front which sort of likened it to a hippopotamus. We don't know how many are down there. We don't know how common this is. But I have never seen anything like this before. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you ask, this odd-looking creature is actually a sea cucumber. But the unusual nature of the creature has excited researchers at the prospect of further unprecedented forms of marine biology. In 2019, the researchers went on an expedition and documented what they saw. The team are shown discovering another new species. Lead scientist Andrew Stewart is shown on film saying the following. This is why I came to Antarctica, to see things like this. I have to look at such features as the shape of the teeth, the jaws, the shape of the gill rakers, as well as counts of the vertebrae. Now I have no idea what species this is. The colour pattern on the fins is like nothing I've ever seen before. But what do you make of these latest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.